Hello guys, so today we are going to discuss another sorting algorithm that is bubble sort, right? So what bubble sort says that if you are given any unsorted sequence of integers, so what bubble sort algorithm will do, it will just try to bubble up the largest possible number in the whole unsorted sequence, right? So here you can see that currently in this unsorted sequence, 5 is going to be the largest number. So what bubble sort will do? Bubble sort will try to just place this largest number from the unsorted sequence to its best possible position, right? So it will just place it to the best possible position. So what bubble sort will ensure that after each iteration, whatever the unsorted part is left, we will just make sure that the maximum of that unsorted part is going towards its best possible position after every iteration, right? So it will just bubble up. It will just try to make sure that these integers are getting bubble up to the best possible positions in the sorted sequence, right? So let's see what is the basic intuition behind bubble sort, right? So suppose that you are given any unsorted sequence. Suppose you have an unsorted part from a sequence. Suppose this is A1, A2 till the position AM. And after that, if you start from A M plus 1, AM plus 2 till AN, which is a sorted part. So this is a sorted region and this is the unsorted region. So what we are going to do, we will just make sure that inside this sorted part, this is going to be the minimum element, right? Inside the sorted part, this is going to be the minimum element. And say inside this unsorted part, we have some element x as the maximum element, right? So what we will try to ensure that after each iteration, whatever the dis division is, we will make sure that this minimum element of this sorted part is every time greater than the maximum element of this unsorted part, right? And what we are going to do at each iteration, we will just pick out this maximum element and put it to its best position. So if this maximum element is just smaller than this uh, minimum element of the sorted part then what will be the best possible position after the whole sequence is sorted for this maximum element it will be just behind this a m plus one element so we will try to just place x here right so at each iteration we will just divide our array into two parts in the initial iterations the whole array will be considered as the unsorted part and the size of the sorted part will be zero and after the complete sorting algorithm has been executed this sorted part will be equal to the size of the array and the size of the unsorted part will become equals to zero right so let us just see how a basic dry run and see that how we can just apply bubble sort in the following case right so suppose the array given to you is 5 4 3 2 1 so here you can see that this array is arranged in the descending order so if it is 5 4 3 2, 1, right? So at each iteration, what we are going to do, we will just keep a tracker i as well as a tracker j, right? We will just keep a tracker j. So now what we are ensuring that if the current element which i is pointing, if it is greater than the just next adjacent element, then we will just swap these two elements, right? So here you can see 5 and 4 will be swapped and 4 will come here, 5 will come here, right? Now i will be incremented. I will be incremented. Let's say just we are just keeping things uh, uh, on a simpler note by keeping just i as our variable. Now i is pointing to 5. Now i will be compared with i plus 1 and index. And here you can see that 5 is greater than 3. So again, we will just swap things from here to here. here. So here you can see this is 3 and this is 5. Now again, 5 will be compared with 2. And here you can see it will again be swapped. So five will uh, 2 will come here, 5 will come here. After that, 5 will be swapped with 1. So this will be like this sequence right now again we will just start i from the very uh, 0th index that is this one and now here you can see 4 when 4 and 3 will be compared 4 will be greater than 3 so we will just swap 4 and 3 right so 4 and 3 will be swapped and 3 will come here and 4 will come here again 4 and 2 will be swapped so 4 2 will come here and 4 will be swapped to here and again 4 and 1 will be swapped so these two come here so again, here you can see that we just picked out four as the maximum element from the unsorted part and we just placed 
4 at its best position. So, at each iteration, at least one of the element is getting placed at its best possible position. Now, if you compare 3, so here you can see we will start again from i is equals to 0. We will compare i with the next corresponding element. So, here you can see 3 and 2 will be uh, compared. So, 2 will come here and 3 will come here. Again, 3 and 1 will be swapped. So, here you can see 3 and 1 will are going to be swapped. So, 1 come here, comes here and 3 comes here. And now, if we just compare 3 and 4, so no swapping will occur because 3 is lesser than 4. Now, at last, what will happen is we will just compare 2 and 1. So, 1 will come here, 2 will come here. 2 is also present at its best position and at last, 1 is also present at its best position. So, here you can see that we just uh, at every iteration, we were just bubbling up the maximum possible element from the unsorted sequence and we just place this bubble to the sorted part, right? And at last, the size of this sorted part will grow up till the size of the original array, right? So, let us just see that how we can just implement this algorithm. So, what we are supposed to do, we can just try to mimic the same algorithm in the code like we will just have one pointer which will be pointing to the first position right and what we can say is we can just have a variable which can just keep a track on the fact that if we are sometimes swapping an element or not right so here you can see when 5 was present here and 4 was present here you can see that when we were just swapping both the elements we know that swapping will occur only in those times when the some part of the array is unsorted right but if the whole array is already sorted, if the whole array is already sorted, then obviously no swapping will occur. So we can just keep a variable that can just track the fact that if we are swapping some element or not. And if in the whole iteration, if we are not doing any kind of swapping, then obviously the whole sequence is sorted and there is no point of reiterating to the whole sequence again and again, right? So let us just try to think in this manner only. So we will just keep a track on a flag that is suppose we are keeping a flag uh, track on the done flag so initially what we what we can suppose is this done flag is marked as what false right and what we can do is while this flag is false right while this flag is false we will just try to implement the algorithm now what the algorithm will say suppose at each, at each iteration i will mark this flag as true right i will mark this flag as true and if at any time any swapping will occur i will just change the flag to false again and the loop will be implemented again right now we will start from i is equals to zero and what we can do is while i is less than n minus 1 right we will just uh, go till the last index and we will just check that if array at i is greater than array at i plus 1 then what we can do is we can just swap the element present at the i th index with the element present at the i plus 1th index and as i said that if any one swapping is also occurring then also we are just sorting with then also we are at an unsorted uh, sequence and we are supposed to sort the sequence so we will just again mark this done variable as false right we will just mark this as false we will just close this if loop uh, if conditional and increment the value of i right so here you can see that as soon as we will just come at this while loop we will just check that if we are greater than our adjacent element and if that is the case then we will just swap uh, myself and just uh, change the variable of the done, uh, done flag right so here you can see that if the sequence is already sorted suppose that sequence is like one two three four so here you can see that the sequence is already sorted we will start with the done variable as false we will check that uh, while uh, not done that is while the value of done is false we will mark the value of done as true so we will just mark the value of done as true right we will start the variable i is equals to zero we will check that while i is less than n minus one we will check if i is greater than the adjacent element so here you can see one is not greater than the adjacent element so this if conditional will not be executed i will be incremented now i will become equal to one so two will be compared to three again no if conditional check will uh, execute now i will become two three is uh, not uh, greater than four three is lesser than four so again this conditional will not be executed and we will just come out to the while loop now here you can see that after we just came out to the while loop the value of this done variable is true so if we will just try to reiterate in this corresponding while loop then obviously this while loop will terminate this while loop will terminate as soon as we have got our whole array is sorted so what happens in the case of bubble sort is if the array is already sorted right so no swapping generally occurs and we can just in linear time check that the whole array is getting sorted but in the worst case in the worst case 
what can happen is we can get an unsorted kind of sequence and in this unsorted kind of sequence every time we are starting from this very first index and going till the last index right we can even optimize this approach by not iterating till the, till the last index why because we know that at the first iteration the largest number will be present at its best possible position that is last after the second iteration the second largest number will be present at its best position that is second last and so on so we can just reduce the uh, the searching part the searching space at every corresponding iteration but let us say that in the worst case we are just iterating to all the n sequences so the number of iteration will lead to the complexity of big O of n square in asymptotic notation while in the best case this is going to be a linear kind of scenario in the best case the bubble sort algorithm will run in linear time that is big O of n right so I hope the logic for the bubble sort algorithm is clear to you all this is one of the very fundamental algorithm in sorting algorithms and this will lay down the concepts of more sorting algorithm for you guys right so I hope you like the lecture and uh, if you have any suggestion you can just put them down in the comment section we will meet in the uh, next video so thank you guys see you next time